Well, the dog days of summer are supposed to be over, but it's awfully hot out here in Smithfield as tonight the Highland Rams of Pocatello visit the Skyview Bobcats for the game of the week on the Valley Channel. Skyview with a game under their belts already, a 30 to 13 loss at Northridge. They played that game with a couple of their without a couple of their top players. They will be back tonight, including their quarterback, number eight, Nicholas Carver. He will bear watching to see what he does against this Highland defense. Highland comes in after a four and six season last year and a first round playoff exit. They're used to playing the teams from Utah. They opened with Timview last year, so they're down here looking to get off to a good start, but they're breaking in a junior quarterback as well. Could be a low scoring game somehow with Skyview's offense and what they like to do though. I doubt that. We'll see soon enough as the Rams take on the Bobcats on the Game of the Week on the Valley Channel. Introducing the Gold's Gym Complete In-Home Circuit Training System. You get the door gym, core straps, and push-up stands with rotational resistance, plus the circuit training workout DVD that'll transform your body in just 20 minutes a day. Start your training with the Grip Lock Door Gym. Turn any door frame into your personal gym instantly. Targeting each muscle group is as easy as changing your grip. Work your arms with killer tricep dips, then hook into the bar for six-pack abs. Continue your training with Comfort Tech Core Straps. Hanging crunches are the fastest way to a strong, sexy style. Finish your training with Gold's Gym exclusive push-up stands with 360 degrees of rotational resistance. By adding resistance, you build muscle faster. Burn more calories in less time with this circuit training DVD. Buy all these individually and you'd pay as much as $140. Act now and get the Gold's Gym circuit training system for only $49.99. Order now and you'll get this special circuit training wall chart free. Game of the Week on the Valley Channel, Skyview and Highland. And brought to you by the good folks at Icon Health and Fitness. Never give up. Lewiston State Bank, your hometown bank. Jesse Needham Jewelers, middle of the block, sign at the clock. Cash Valley Specialty Hospital, you do have a choice in health care. ARS Blood and Fire Cleanup will fix your disaster. Moon Toys, we've moved. Come check out our new location in North Logan. Aggie Sports Grill, the place to be. Finn's audio and video, Cash Valley's audio and video specialist. The logo shop, we logo stuff, all kinds of stuff. And the Valley Channel, Cash Valley's television station. Hello everyone and welcome to Smithfield. Skyview High School, Highland of Pocatello, Idaho versus Skyview. Skyview starts at their own 19 yard line after a long kick, a sack. Carver's sacked on first down and he keeps it on second down. Looking for the edge, picks up a couple. It'll be third and long. Apologies for missing the first play of the game as we had a few technical difficulties, but if you're a Skyview fan, you didn't miss much. Just that eight yard loss on a sack. And now Skyview faces third and long. We'll hear from the coaches a little bit later and get you all set up in this game. Dangerous pass as Carver goes back across the grain. He was looking for Berger, and it falls incomplete. Carver's pass intended for number 37, Brandon Berger. Let's take a look as Carver, Nicholas Carver, played a lot as a sophomore last year, now a junior. Dangerous pass. He's lucky that one didn't get picked off and taken back to the house by Tyson Manu. Michael Becerras on his own 47-yard line awaiting the kick. Kicked away, low line drive. Becerra's has a little bit of running room. He's across the 50 and across the 45 and down inside the 45 yard line of Skyview. That's where Highland will start. In fact, they spot it right at the 45 yard line. Highland quarterbacked by the junior, Neil Jewell, 6'1", 191 pounds. Behind him, Andre Lopez. We'll see Ian Filiaga. We'll also see Michael Becerra's. 
in the backfield, as well as a host of other players will catch the ball, including number 14, Cole Ashby. Well, two backs in the backfield and three wide receivers. For the team out of Pocatello. Jewel going deep and downfield. He's got a man. It hangs up and it's caught but out of bounds as Tanner Tingey was out there running free. And Jewel just spent, sent that one thing too far west. Tanner Tingey incomplete. Second and 10. Jewel showing he's got. A jewel of an arm. Look at that. That thing just kind of drifted. And Tingy comes up with it, but out of bounds. Here's the give to Filiaga. Filiaga right up into the line, gains a yard. It'll be third down and nine. Skyview, not big this year. Coach Ander really likes his linebackers. And we'll hear from Coach Ander a little bit, a little bit later. And you'll hear him talk about that a little bit more. Connor Chambers, big number 55, one of the D linemen in on that tackle. Third and nine. Yabitsi Wells showing a blitz. He comes and they throw to the little out pattern out there to Lopez and it's incomplete. Pass, for and Highland will have to punt. First game of the year for the Rams. Skyview played Northridge at Northridge last week. As you see, Lopez ran that little out pattern, but he would have been short of the first down by about three yards. Cole Ashby back to kick and Here's an indication of first game jitters. They need a timeout because they don't have the right punt formations out there. Might be a good time to hear from a coach. We'll get we'll get to those when we get a when we get a break a little bit later. But you know, and it, there's another interesting sub story here in this game going on. Number 88 for Skyview. We'll see if we see her, but Skyview, a female kicker, Stacy Bear. She's a top, top high school soccer player. And I'm watching her out there warming up. She's got plenty of leg on field goals. So we'll see if we see her, number 88, in the game. Coach Ander said, expect to see her. Coach Ander. Well, Highland looks like maybe they've got the right amount of players out on the field now. With a high kick, but a tall kicker. Wells calls for a pair of catch. Actually, he tells everybody to get away. That one's going to roll inside the five. And inside the ten and down near the five-yard line will be spotted right at the five. So Skyview will take over there. No score, 9.36 to play in the first period. I'm Eric Olson. Levon not with us this evening. He's out of town on special assignment for the CIA. Skyview played last week without starting quarterback Nicholas Carver, so he's back in action. So we said this is their second game, but it's actually Carver's first game. Watts, Alex Watts, not a big running back. As we talked about Skyview not being very big, 5'8", 155 pounds, right into the line for a couple. Correction, Cooper Cody. Cooper Cody, number 21, making the stop for Highland. Now they run a little out, and it's dropped out there by Zach Allen. So now it's third and nine. So Skyview running a little bit of a different offense this year. They're running a 
what a lot of people would call that pistol offense. They don't set the they don't set up the backs and the quarterback quite as deep as in a regular gun. They're only about three, sometimes four yards deep instead of five to seven. Allen comes across the formation. A lot of time for Carver, and he's going for the big one. Jensen tripped up down there. No flags. Oh, here comes one late. Carver's pass intended for number six, Corey Jensen, incomplete. Corey Jensen tripped up out there, and you need to remember in high school, ball does not have to be catchable for it to be a pass interference. Their feet got kind of tangled up. You see Jensen hit the ground. That's a terrible feeling as a defensive back, Austin McNabb. Good sized corner at 6'1, 160. Running right with Jensen. The first penalty of the game goes against Highland. And it's 15 yards and a first down. Carver gets three more to play with. They start the cadence. You see them looking toward the sideline. What they do is they start the cadence, then they check out what the defense is doing. Then they'll check off to a play from there. They either stay in the same one or check to something different. Carver's just going to keep. Looks for the edge, gets around the 20, and up near the 25. It's like a gain of about three. Tackle by number 15, Chess Carvel. Play is good for three yards. Second and seven. Second and seven for the Bobcats. Jordan McKenna, number 70. Probably their biggest lineman. He is their biggest lineman, 5'11", 248. Carver fakes the give, keeps it himself, breaking tackles, and finally hauled down. But not until he gains a first down. Nine yards for Carver. There you go. Patrick Ryan, the biggest guy out there on the field. Ooh, fooled the cameraman. Probably the biggest guy out there on the field. Number 72 finally brings Carver down. 6'4", 245 goes Ryan. This time they give it off. There's not much there for Watts. Barkay, Alex Watts. Wrapped up by number 42, Thomas Ryan. And number 72, Patrick Ryan. Boy, there's more than they thought where they spotted that ball. They gave him about three yards. The Skyview quickly back up to the line. Carver looking over that defense. Two deep safeties. Against four wide receivers set for Skyview. Carver with the pitch out. Watts has a little bit of a lane, spins his way forward. He's going to be about a yard shy of the first down. And now Skyview starting to get a pretty good rhythm going to that offense. You can see Patrick Ryan made a lick on Carver after he pitched it. Good for now they're going to end up giving him six yards and a first down. The Skyview now at the 44-yard line. Their second possession, no score with 6.15 to play in the first period. Here's a little end around. Allen, Allen caught in a hurry. Island staying home. Zach Allen carries. And he picks up a yard, Tackle does Allen. 21, Cooper Cody. Watch Cooper Cody play 